So today what I'm going to do is quickly show you how to build your own Tesla valve intake for a pulse jet engine. And it looks just like this. We just have a piece of 2-inch pipe for our intake, a couple pieces of 2-inch pipe for our Tesla valves that are attached to it. And to create a Tesla valve effect inside of this, all I've done is this. You can see I've got a partition or a divider sleeve, piece of metal that's inside of there, right down the middle of it. And you'll notice it doesn't come all the way up to the top of the tube. It stays down about an inch below it. What this does is allow the exhaust gases to come up this side, wrap over the top, and back down this side, working just like a Tesla valve, giving us our one-way valve system for the intake for a pulse jet engine. All I have to do now is cover these ends up just like this. We've got both of our dividers now welded in, as you can see here, into the Tesla valve for the pulse jet engine. Let me go ahead now and just cap off the end of those. We'll cut this down to length and we're ready to go with our first Tesla valve to attach to a pulse jet engine. All right, so here's a completed Tesla valve intake for a pulse jet engine. You can see the caps are now on it, on either side, ready to go. If we look down in the hole, you'll see it's a nice clean hole inside of there. If we look up from this direction, we should be able to see our dividers inside of there, to some degree, right there, and right there. So there you go, folks. This is how to build a simple single valve Tesla valve for a pulse jet engine. This will make a more powerful valveless pulse jet design. Until next time, when I show you this in action, this is Mr. Teslonian. So now that I've showed you how to build the Tesla valve for a pulse jet engine, I wanted to show you the pulse jet that I've put together for that Tesla valve. Uh, like I said here in another video, so I'm going to go ahead now and add the Tesla valve to the front end of that so we'll have a hybrid Tesla valve pneumatic valve system that will give us a jet engine that's capable of taking off from a static position. And once it's up to velocity, the Tesla valve itself will stop to function and it'll all be ramjet style. So we'll have a dual purpose engine hopefully that'll work. It'll need some tuning obviously. These are the first original prototypes and ideas coming together.